Well, this little boy was nearly killed after a projectile from a lawnmower struck him in the head when he was playing at recess. Tonight, Alex Hook is back home after another surgery to his head. Fox 6's Aaron Mabin with the update on the boy's ongoing and challenging recovery. He's made remarkable progress. You know, I guess it's the resiliency of a, of a child. Alex Hook is smiling once again after undergoing another surgery this week to remove excess fluid near his brain. It truly is a miracle as far as I'm concerned, having seen him from the day it happened to where he is today. In early September, Hook was on the playground at Riverview Elementary in Silver Lake when investigators say a nearby lawnmower launched a projectile that hit the first grader in the head. Michelle Kirchin is his aunt. He has nightmares about it, frankly. I mean, he's also, you know, with doing some counseling for that because he, he wakes up crying. I don't know that he knows exactly what it was and how would he because it hit him in the back of the head. Severe swelling early on forced surgeons to remove a portion of his skull. Now it's made from a 3D, 3D printer. Um, you know, and then it's connected with to the actual skull. Kirchin says Hook remains in good spirits. Seven years old, it's Christmas time. He's getting out of the hospital. He has his skull on, so there's no more helmet that he has to wear. Um, you know, he's not out of the woods completely. There is always a, a chance that he can pick up an infection, which is, you know, is the worst case scenario. As Alex Hook continues on a difficult road to recovery, his family is happy he'll be home for the holiday. In Milwaukee County, Aaron Mabin, Fox 6 News. Oh, we are rooting for him, that is for sure.